came with them. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? And Satan answered the Lord, I have been wandering around the earth. I have been going back and forth in it. He finds many ways to tempt us to do wrong. And he likes to confuse us if he can. He even tries to use the Bible to confuse people. If a person believes the Bible, then Satan tries to mix him up and get him to twist the Bible around so that he believes it says something it really doesn't say. How could Satan use the Bible itself to confuse people Michael wanted to know? Sometimes people will take only a single verse or even just part of a verse and not pay attention to all the rest of the chapter. They focus on just that one verse or a few words and claim it means a certain thing. But if they read the whole chapter, they will see it isn't talking about what they think it is, it is at all. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Okay, so as we can see from when we start reading Job, that Satan, right, just plan ahead for us, right, just like how he planned for Job, good, and he went and he make a petition on Job, that's why Job went through all these little trials, right, good, but as what the book is saying here is that he also trick us when we read the Bible. That's why we have to be careful when we read the Bible. We just don't say a part of the Bible. And when we say a text, we must make sure, that's why I keep on telling you all, make sure and say where the text comes from. All right? When you say a text, know where the text comes from. So when you tell somebody a text, you have to tell them it comes from Genesis or it comes from Revelation or Psalms or Matthew and say the verse and the chapter and the verse. So the person can always go back into the Bible and read it themselves. All right? You all understand that? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. All right. So that is the first yes, part. Miss. All right. So I'm going to stop there. So next, next Sabbath, well, next time we meet again, I will continue the story. All right? So in our activity, we have to do uh, find the hidden words, right? Good. So, so that is your homework to find the hidden words, okay? I find all of my hidden words. So you all know to find your hidden words, okay? I did right. mine on Twitter. You did yours? Yes. All right. So, and you find all you find all your hidden words? And yes, yes on Twitter. We yes. have to do this for homework. Well, if you didn't do it as yet, you could do it for homework here. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So let's close okay, off. Yes. Sir, yes. Okay. So you do it for homework. All right. Okay. We do it in this book. Yes, we do it in that book. Okay. We didn't do mine yet. Yeah. Okay, Sana. So you'll do yours later. All right, so we're closing off here now, the, our devotion. All right, so let's close our eyes. Isandro, close off for me, please. A short prayer, Isandro. We'll do it next time. Okay. Dear kind and loving Father, thank you for this day. Please help us to obey your word. And please help us to always keep the Sabbath day holy and to do what is right. And please help us to behave and do what is right in your sight, even when our parents are not there. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. So, all right. Attention. One. One. All right. So, Jerome, I hand it over to you now. Okay, everyone. So, we're going to do the adventure. Pledge, low and song. Everyone stand at attention. Attention. 
Present arms. Adventure pledge. Three, four. Because? Because Jesus loves me. I will have to go with you by best. Other arms. Adventure law. Three, four. Jesus. Jesus wants to be obedient. Three, Okay. Adventure. Adventure song. Three, four. We, we are adventurers at home at school We are adventurers. Okay. All right. So everyone have your seats. Okay. I want you all to mute your mics. Mute your mics. We can enter our class session now. So let me just share my screen. I don't know if you all see and share my screen. Right. Everyone see my screen? Yeah. Great. Yes. Sir. Okay. So um, okay. So we are moving on to the myself portion of the book today. We'll be starting and we'll be going for about. I'm getting some feedback. Whose mic is on? Okay. So mute your mics. Everyone mute your mics. Okay. So we we'll, we'll be starting in myself portion of the book. And we'll be doing this for about the next three weeks or so. So I'm going to run through quickly with all right. So this is the order today. All right. So, so we'll be doing a little recap. And we'll be starting with uh, the sunbeams and the builders. Then we'll go on to helping hand. We'll go on to busy bee, come back to the sunbeam, and then we'll go back to builders. And after that, we'll go back to helping hand and then homework and that. So, just want to start with the little lamb and eager beaver. All right, so little, little lamb, eager beaver. Let me see. Let me see the hands. Attention. Little lamb, little lamb, eager beaver. So while we are, Uncle, your audio is going. You're not hearing me too clear. I can hear you clearly now, but not before. Okay. Right, give me one so, could you repeat what you said, please? Right, we I start with the little lamb and eager beaver. Okay. So we um so um right. So let me share my screen. So, um, everyone see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is for we look at the little lamb and the eagle. Um, so for eager beaver, for my self requirements, you are you are required to do um to learn the, to do the alphabet fun. Right, and um, then you after you you do the alphabet fun, right? Um, follow the path from A to Z. Uh, the little crack there gets the hose, right? Is a fireman. A lot of feedback. If you're not on mic, can you mute your mic, please? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. So um so you need you have to you are required to uh just complete this activity. So parents, I hope you are paying attention, right? Just to complete this activity. And then after that, uh, the child has to spell their name, know how to spell their name. Then you walk around the room and you find you find uh, things within your room that starts with the letters of the alphabet, all right? And depending on how many things you find, you just put a number uh, by the A, the B, the C, etc. So this is page, let me just, this is 19, uh, nine, uh, 18, 18 and 19. So for the eager beaver, you all can work on that in the meantime. And for the little lambs, little lamb, you are required to sing the to sing a song about your body. So we have the head, shoulders, knees, and toes song. And um, you could sing some other songs, right? So parents, you could sing some other songs with them in the meantime. And then after that, listen to a story about the body. And um, you, so parents, you could read a, a read a story about the body about the body to your child, and then you just put the name of the book in the, in, in the activity book. And uh, then the child required to say three things that they have learned about the body. And then some craft that I think that we should be distributing um, some material for you all to do that as well. Sometimes too. Okay, so um, you all could work on those things in the meantime while we move on to the class and we'll come back with you all in a bit, all right? Okay, so I'm going to run through the requirements for the adventurers. Let me just get this back up on the screen. Great. Okay, so I'm starting with Busy B. The Busy B. You are required to make a booklet showing different people who care for you. So you could, um, the, uh, the materials for that activity, we will be distributing sometime this week. So we'll be doing that craft. Uh, we'll be starting that craft next week. And um, so um, you're, we'll, today we'll be looking at the feelings under I can make wise choices, choices in your book. And then we'll be looking at uh, the Health Specialist Award from next week. All right? So that's Busy B. Sunbeam, you are okay, requested. Now, uh -huh. the room, one yeah. minute. Okay, in your booklet for the um, special yeah. Busy B, you're going to write out the four different things in your book right there, right? So, so when you get your paper to, to make the booklet, you already know what you're going to put on. All right? Right? right. I think you need to show them the page though. Yeah, I don't think they, yeah. It's page 19 in your book. So busy bee, all the busy bees, let me see your books. Is up your box to the camera? Right, so we at page 19 right now. So turn to page 19. And that is under the I am special. Okay. So you can see the activity there. So you will start on it. So when you get your materials, you already know what you are doing. So you can go ahead and make your booklet. That's busy B. Okay. But we have some activities coming for you all in a bit. Next, Sunbeam. Right. So... Sunbeam. So let's uh, let's turn to page. Let me get the page for Sunbeam. Under I am special. Right, so I'm switching. Okay, so Sunbeam, you're seeing on page 19, 
you are required to i already did that okay so who did it who already did it? i heard a voice i already did that i'm um, leila okay so you already did it okay so what let, let's see what you did you you um you have your drawing you have your tracing yeah i write some okay um okay right so you just wrote it out in the book that's correct you hear me what is that you just wrote it out in the book yeah you, okay right so so um parents if you have if you listen for sunbeam they are required to trace make a trace of themselves Right, so you're required to make a trace of them of your of yourself. So it could be your face, it could be your head, it could be your hands or your foot or something like that. And you have to decorate it with pictures and words, which um, tell good things about yourself. Right. So, um, to be, um, uh, you can use just on a sheet of paper or something like that. And you could draw your hands, you could draw your, um, you could do a drawing of your face or something like that, but it has to be a tracing, right? That's, that's a requirement there, so you can, assist, you can assist with that. Um, then we have some games, then we, the fitness fun next week, all right? I'm getting Mike, please, who's, whose mic is on your mic if you're not talking to me? Leila, um, mute your mic, please. All right. Okay, so, um, let's get into the activities. Okay, so, so, Sunbeam. Um, parents, you can start with the tracing right now. I said, um, get a sheet of paper. It could be hands, it could be uh, your face or anything like that. So you could start with that right now. Next, uh, we don't have a, we don't have any builders here today. No problem. Builders. Um. No. The builders not here. No. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Go to help and hand. Yeah, I think we'll have to move on to help and hand. Then. So, build as we got some activities set up for you. But, um, so we'll get that activity back to um back to your next time. Okay. So, help and hand. I believe we Sandra is the only help and hand. Any other help and hands? Um, any the of the the new ones? The next help and hand is not here. All right. So, Sandro. Talking to you directly. Let's get into your activities. Okay. Decision making. Okay. So you um turn to page twenty five um of your book. Page twenty five of your book. You started anything on my selfies, Andrew? And you can you could yeah, speak to me. Oh, 25. Page twenty five. Um. We can make our we can make our five decisions. Yes, yeah. You did anything there yet? Um, no. I just colored the um picture. Just colored it. Alright, no problem. Okay, so we're going to talk a bit about about good decision making and what are the steps of good decision making, right? So, basically, when you are looking um to make a decision, right, or or you are faced with a decision that you need to make. These are the usual steps that you take, and you can see it up on your screen there. Your screen there, right? So you think about what is the problem, what is what is the problem that you are faced with, and you get a good definition for it. So, well, I mean, I don't need to get into it too much with you because you know I think you understand. But when you when it comes to your activity, this is how you'd be analyzing it, all right? So. What is the problem? Think about it. Then you can ask an adult. You can ask Gordon for some 
uh, advice when it comes to dealing with your problem. And then you think about the solutions. So some possible solutions, what are the consequences of each? Choose the best one and then you review as in what you could have done better or should you have made a, a different decision. So your activity, sorry, activity, all right, so let me just switch to your, let me switch to your book. All right, and I think, I believe it's page 26. Okay, so you're seeing, you're seeing page 26 there? 20, 20 what? 26. Um, yes. Right, okay. So you see that little sheet you have there? Yes, problem okay. one, problem two. Problem one and problem two. So you go in, you by yourself now because you have to come back in the ending and give us um give us a little information on this right and well you have two activities to do so hold on mm -hmm. you have um two problems so think of two problems that you are faced with regularly or not maybe not so regularly think of two problems look at the possible solutions look at the consequences you write in all this in your book look at the uh, two possible solutions or three possible solutions think about the consequences choose the best decision and then act on it. So you just have to fill out the that sheet there. Okay, you understand? What sheet? You're on page 26 right now. Hold up your book for me. Page 26, right. So you're seeing you're seeing those two. Let me, let me share this screen. Okay. You see in the you see in the two um one and problem two. Yes. Right. So right. You are you are writing down the problem. So think of two problems. You put in the problem, the problem one, the problem one, the problem two. The possible solutions, the consequences of those solutions, and three possible solutions. Choose the best solution, and then act on it. Right. So you are solving real life real life problems with this sheet that you have there on page twenty six. Okay. So you're doing that for okay. me now. And if there's anything, you can ask a friend to help you if you if you are a bit lost, all right? Um, the next thing that you have to do, that is on page 24, right? Page 24, go up to page 24. Yes. Uh, we, under myself, you are required to list some special, um, list some special interests and abilities God has given you. So in the hearts, I think, um, and yes, so you have the heart separate. We usually do the heart separate. Um, for Isandro. Isandro, I, I give your mom the heart to give you. She gave it to you? Some red yeah, some she red. gave it to me. Um, I finished it ju just a few days, um, just a few Great. hours ago. All right, very good, very good, right? Yeah. So, um, so you have you're just filling that information. And you know mm -hmm. how to make a booklet. I don't think we have a problem there. I think you could do that very easily. But what you need to do is um, where at the end of this session, I'll come back to you. So think, think of a talent. Think of one talent that you want to show us. So at the end, you're going to share your talent with everyone. Think of one talent. And you will do it first. You'll do your talent first at the end. And when that is and when the class completed, you'll do your talent. And then um, once you do your talent, you will draw a picture of what you did and have your parents sign off on it. So you'll show us the picture. Um, uh-huh. Yes. Right. So, so think of your talent. Mm -hmm. Think of something you want to do at the end of this class. Eh? So think of it quickly, right? So while you are doing your problem solving, you're also thinking of a talent that you want to do. And then at the end of this no, class, you're going to share it with everyone. Hmm? I yeah. already have a talent on this talent show. Sure. All right. So just so you're going to do just a few minutes of your talent. And then mm -hmm. you're going to draw a picture of what you did. And your um, parent will sign off on it with the date. All right? Sign it off where? Sign off in the book. Everything that in you do you, in your book. Sign it off. I know in my book, but sign it off where in that page? Right at the top. Just put a signature with the date that it was done. But you have to draw your okay. picture first. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. I'm Jerome. Ah, yes. Um, 
I don't think Leon understand clearly what Oli asked him to do. No, no. This is just helping hand we on right now. What's oh, helping hand? Who doing Sunbeam? We moving on to Sunbeam in a bit. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Yeah, we I'll just... wait for it then. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just wait a few minutes and I'll just get in the helping hand out the way. Okay, so um, Miss Andrea, you know what you are doing? You understand everything that you are doing? Yes, I put in a picture that I did. Right, but before um, that, you need to do your problem solving. So you have two things to do. Problem one and problem two on page 26. Yeah. And then you are coming up with your talent. Perform your talent. Then you draw your picture. So for now, you're focusing on your problem solving. Okay? So you go and do that now, and we're moving on. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Right. We are... One, two. Uh, one second, let me just get this. All right, so we are on to BZB. Um, well, BZB and Sunbeam, actually. All right, so BZB, Sunbeam. Um, Sunbeam, you all have some things doing right now, but if you, if you are available, you could come and play this game with us. So BZB, let me see the BZBs. Raise your hand. Let me see all the BZBs. Busy bees. Okay, so all. Yeah. all I'm busy. a busy bee. Yes, you are. All busy bees on mute your mics. We're going to play a game. We're going to play the okay. feelings game. On mute your mics, we're going to play the feelings game. Yeah. Uh, what are the instructions? <laughs> you'll, you'll see that. Right, let me just get the. Page. Okay, so busy bees, you are page, you are turning to page twenty one. You are turning to page. We are turning to page twenty one. So there is an activity on page twenty one that you have to complete. It is. It's uh, I can make as uh, under I can make wise decisions. I can make wise decisions. And we are going to play a game right now. It's the feelings game. So the game is really simple. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to show you some pictures. Look at the screen. You're looking at the screen. I'm going to show you some pictures. And all you have to do is see what you think, what, what that person in the picture is feeling. Okay, I'm very simple. Mm -hmm. So everyone pay attention. Let's go. Hey, baby, look at him. Um, Keep looking at him. We have two pictures. The person on the left, the person on the right. So anyone can tell me what the person on the left is feeling. The first guy in the, in the picture there. Anyone can tell me what he's feeling? I know. Let me hear. I know. Okay. Tell me. I know, sir. Uh huh. I'm listening. What do you um, think he's feeling? I think he's feeling scared because a car is coming towards you. Uh, you're looking, <laughs> looking at the picture? You see my screen? Um, I think it's because I did it already. Oh, no, no, no. Look, Cheryl, look the at the one screen. on the left or the right? The one on the left, the first one, the boy there. Look at the screen. Don't look at your book just yet. All right? I, I watch the screen. You see my screen? No, we're not. You're not seeing my screen? No. Uh, okay. See, I can make sorry wise decisions. Oh, okay, no, sorry, I'm showing you the wrong screen. Oh my god. That's all right. Sorry about that. Okay. Right. Oh, I can see my screen now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right. So let's start over. The activity is name the feelings. She was happy. Boy, the boy on the left. There's, boy, there's one boy on the left. I'm getting a... The boy on the left looks happy. Oh, this boy. So, how is... How, what do what you all think he's feeling? He feels very happy. Um, I'm, uh, one one person at a time. One person, one person. Okay, so Sana, what do you think he's feeling? 
I think he's feeling happy because he got a nice bag to do something right. Okay, so um, what a, what a, what's another feeling that he could possibly be feeling because he has this big um, bow on his chest? Wow. What's, what else he could be feeling? Excited. <laughs> Excited, all wow. right. So, so yeah. me here? Happy. Wow! Proud. So let's move on to the next one. So we're looking at the boy on the right hand side now. So he's stepping on a toy or something like that all right so what could be the emotion what could be the feeling that he's feeling right now anybody can tell me angry right, angry angry sad angry sad angry, sad. angry. angry sad yeah all right so let's start. angry angry feeling upset Upset. Okay. We're moving on. We're going on to the next set. We're going on to the other set. So look at the first girl. The first girl. Sad. You know how she's feeling? Sad. Sad. We have sad. Anything else? Sad. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Bored. I hear. I hear. Kaya said bored. Bored. Repeat. Bored. 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 Okay. Bored. <laughs> All right. Bored. All right. Okay, so the, the guy in the middle. The guy in the middle. He just came over by his friends. Boy. He's high fiving. Yes. Anybody can tell anybody can tell me what he's how he's happy. feeling? Yeah. Happy? happy? Anything else? He's feeling happy. Any other happy. feeling? Any other feeling he might feel? He is? He feels happy. Happy. Yes. Yeah? Right. Okay, so this, Excited. All right, so let's put him excited. Okay. The guy on the end. What do you think? Last boy on the end. The last boy on the end. What do you think he's feeling? He feels stressed. 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 All right. Stressed. How is he looking? Like he feels. It's okay to speak up. He. He. It's okay to speak up and share. Okay. Anything else? Uh huh. I'm hearing a lot of voices. One voice at a time. One voice at a time. Yes. yes, uh, Sana, uh huh. Yes. He feels kind of. Mm -hmm. He feels kind of funny. I can see that he feels funny That's when he of... he's confusing. Okay, I'm I'm hearing someone else. Anybody? Anyone else? Raise your hand. Let me. He see. is confusing. Hand. He is really confusing. 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 <laughs> kind of strange. Okay. All right. So um. So I think that's that's about it. Yeah. So. So we looking on. We looking on. Okay. Okay. So you're listening. You're listening to me for a little while. Listen for, to me for a little while. Mics off. Listen to me. So. A person's feelings, remember that a person's feelings has strong influence on the decisions and the actions that they make. Being able to recognize and name these feelings in the first, is the first step to being able to deal with them successfully. Now, everyone has feelings that may be good or they may be bad. And sometimes you may not have control over these feelings. And sometimes... Uh, um, you you may express feelings that when you think about it you may not have expressed these feelings correctly but the key is that you have to remember that you need to 
recognize these feelings, know what they mean, and then as you grow older, you will learn how to deal with them. Now, some positive feelings may be, um, they include love, pride, confidence, excitement, enjoyment, happiness, courage, and security. And then you may have some negative feelings such as anger, guilt, jealousy, sad, sadness, loneliness, embarrassment, fear, disappointment, discouragement, anxiety, frustration, grumpiness, right? Now, the key, right? So if you, you can talk to your parent, you can talk to your older brother, but the key is you always need to remember with your feelings that you need to talk to Jesus first. You need to talk to Jesus. And some ways of dealing with these feelings, you may ask, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this way? What shall I do about it? Is it a good thing? And then you can do what you decided to do. So tell me, someone, busy bee, someone, can you tell me about a time? Can anyone tell me about a time, a short story about a time that you felt sad and what you did about it? Yeah. Anyway. So tell me about a time you felt sad, what happened and what you did about it. Uh, Kaya? When Kaya? I, when in Lena didn't share the lantern that we made today. Um, I didn't hear you too clearly. Say it again. Say it again. When you... your, your mic is off. I felt sad when you mm -hmm. didn't let me hold the lantern and oh. ran away from me. <laughs> Okay, so yes, I can see how you you feel sad about that. Lantern that I made today. I so, I know. So what uh what you did about it? So you felt sad, but what you did about it? What did you do when you felt sad? I told mommy and mm -hmm. Elena, and mommy called Elena. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so next, uh, Sana, tell me about the time you felt sad. I remember when I was going to preschool the first time, mm -hmm. I felt sad and very scared sad because scared. I was going to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and what you did about it to get rid of that I, sad and scared feeling? Of course, I prayed to do this and I asked my teacher with my parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she said that they're going to come back later. Yeah, it's okay. And you felt a little better when that happened? Uh, a little. Okay, that's good. Now, <laughs> remember that the thing about feelings is that they aren't permanent. It means that they wouldn't be there forever. So even though you are feeling sad right now, within a few minutes, maybe a few hours, maybe a day, it might, uh -huh. the feeling might persist, but eventually you will feel better, you'll feel different. And remember that even though your parent might not be there, brother or sister may not be there, there's one person who is always there that you can always turn to, and you can always talk to him, no matter where you are, and that's Jesus. You can talk to yeah. him, you can say, My best friend. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can say, Jesus, I'm feeling this way, can you help me out here? And you will be surprised the, dif the difference that it makes okay so in your book in your book, go to your book page 21 who would have done who would have completed the activity already who would have completed the activity already um books for me uncle can you repeat please we lost your audio for a few seconds sorry yes page we went to page 21 what did you say, sir? We're losing you. Sorry about that. Not too sure what's happening. Perhaps type it in the chat, if possible. You, you all hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. OK. So we turn into page 21. Look at my screen. Huh? My screen, page 21. Huh? Page 21, I think you said. 
Did it say page 21? Busy B, busy B, page 21. 21, this is 21. Look at my screen. So you need, you need to complete, you need to complete this activity. So you're looking at the pictures on the left, faces on the right. We're going to write in the feelings that he faces feelings. So let's see the top one. You see in a little tear coming out of the eye what that feeling might be, and then you match it to the picture. Then you if you match it to the picture, write in that feeling. And when you are done, you just hold up your book. Let me see it. Okay, and then your parent can sign off on it. So activity on page 21, that's what we're doing right now. We will have played the feeling game and we are going to do that activity there. And that will be it for that section. Okay, so basically you all can work on that now. Okay, so we're moving on. Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Let us go back to my screen here. So all the sunbeam. Let me see the sunbeams. Hello. Hello. Sunbeam. Roll call for sunbeam. Leila, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. Sammy, I'm seeing you. Liam, I'm seeing you. Any other sunbeam? Shanice. Yes? Okay, so we're ready. We are playing another game. The what if game. We are going to play the what if game. So we turn to page 21. In your book. Everyone seeing my screen? Uh, Sunbeam, yes. you can turn on your mics. Sunbeams, you can turn on your mics. So talk to me. Okay. Right, so everyone, everyone seeing my screen, right? What's yes. the game about? Okay, you're going to find out. Okay, relax. So what if? What if we are going to play a game called the what if game? All the rules, sir. All you have to do is look at the picture and tell me what if something. So we're on page 21 in the book and you look at the screen. So you are saying, if I something, I would something. So the first picture on the left hand side, there, everyone seen that picture? You can tell me what it is. What's that? Money. It is? Money. 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 How much money do you think money. it is? How much money do you think there? Let's count, it. Let's count it. Let's count it. So we have 100. A we have 150. 50, 100. And? 70. Mm. And then we have 180. 180. So tell me, how much, how much there? How much money is there? 180. 180. 180, how much? 185. 185? <laughs> 185. So we 185. So what if you had this money? What would you do? So you're saying if I had $185, I would so and so. And you'll tell me what you would do with this money if you got it. So who are we starting with? Let me see the hands. Who are we starting with? Shanice, your hand went up first. So if you had this money, what would you do with this money? Share it. Share it? <laughs> All right, very good. Who else? Tell me. Uh, Leila. I would, I would save it. You would save your money in your piggy bank. All right. Liam, what would you do with this money? Well, buy food. Right. You yes, would sir. buy food. <laughs> you would buy food. Okay. All right. Um, who else? Who's who, uh, Sunbeam Sammy? Tell me, what would you do if, if you had this money? Give. I would give God a hundred and buy something. 
something and save the rest. All right. <laughs> so he would give God some, he would buy something, and then he'd save the rest. Okay, so we're looking at the picture on the right hand side. What if, what if, what if, what if you went to school? Could be a normal school, though it doesn't even have to be the first day of school. And then all of a sudden you had no friends and you had to eat lunch all alone by yourself. What would you do? Let me hear some answers. Let me see some hands. Let me hear some answers. Liam, so you have to have lunch all by yourself. What would you do, Liam? I would feel sad. You would feel sad. You would feel very sad. Anybody else? Janice, yeah? My mommy and daddy on my phone. You will call your mommy and your daddy on your phone. <laughs> um, I'm seeing uh, Anne Marie's phone. Malachi, yes. Malachi, yes, Malachi. <laughs> uh, Malachi, yes. your sunbeam. Right, yes. Um, go on. Uh huh. Make new friends. <laughs> you will just make new friends. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, so we're moving on. Let's go on. Next one, next scenario. So I want each one of you all to choose a friend. So we have three options of friends here. We have three options of friends. Everyone see in the screen? We have a rich friend, a kind friend, a kind and helpful friend, and some kind of um music star or something like that we have three types of friends so tell me each one of the sunbeam who you would choose to be your friend so let me see the hands who would you choose to be your friend malachi all right i see your hand tell me who would you choose to be your friend the one that that's helpful that's helpful that the helpful friend You'll choose the helpful friend, or the kind one. Okay, let's see who else. Let me see the hands. Shanice, who would you choose to be your friend? I'll play in the guitar. You want to play in the guitar, all right. Um, Liam, who would you choose to be your friend? The rich one. Wow. The, the rich one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Layla, who would you choose to be your friend? The helpful one. The helpful friend, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone? Who would you choose to be your friend? Sammy? Samuel? No, you would? No? None? You want to be friends with any of them? <laughs> okay. So, let's go back to New York. So we have an activity to do there, and you are just about um, three or just about two or three the other ones, right? So we have one that says, I something, I would something. So you, we want to, you, you will go to your books, Sunbeams, you'll take your books, and not the ones that I would have given you. Choose two or three other examples. And you are saying, if I something, I would something. And you're going to write it out in your books. You're going to write it out in your books. Now, let me just read. 21. Excuse me, sir. Right, so Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You're supposed to pick three. Which, which one here? Yeah, repeat. You're supposed to pick any of these here and write it down in your book? No, you are choosing, you are thinking, coming up with your own examples. Okay? So you're going to say, if I went to Disneyland, I don't know. Okay. You could choose whatever you choose, right? But you have to say, if I something, I would something. And you're following the example right in your book. So just for additional ones or so. It doesn't have to be plenty. Okay. And this all ties into decision making. Now, the choices, 
the choices we make daily are, um, are based on the things that we consider to be truly valuable. These values strongly influence our feelings and our thoughts. They influence our decisions, even though we may be unaware of it. So everything you do as Sunbeam, as big sister, little sister, big brother, little brother, uh, daughter, son, everything that you do, every decision that you make, it is dependent on your values. Now, we all have good values here because we are all um, good Christian little boys and girls, right? But sometimes you may, faced with, you may be faced with a decision with in, in a situation that you may not even be able to control. So let's say your friend at school or someone at school, they may not have the same values as you. But you have to remember that, uh, that everyone's values, right, or how they would have been grown up, how their parents are, how the situation that they come from, this is what will affect their decision making. And so, your decision, you have a question, Ella? Yeah, you're the, you're the poster right on the friend that you will want. Um, you, that is just, this was, that was just an activity that I was showing you all, right? But you are choosing your own examples. Okay, like yes, if I went to the mall. Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will something, something. Yes. Right, so you're writing them down in your book. If I, whatever, yeah. I would, so and so. Y yes, uh huh. Yeah, so what he's doing is writing what he kind of. Page 21. Kind of friend or the kind of decisions he's making? Decisions. Oh, okay, all right, okay. good. So this is this is under myself. It's I can make wise decisions. Okay. Right. So this right. is the activity. I can make wise decisions. So I'm I'm just guiding you all a little bit with, with how you go about um um writing out your decisions, right? Mm -hmm. So um so I'm going on. I'm I'm continuing. Now, so I'm I was saying that remember that your decisions, the decision that you make sometimes uh mm -hmm. the uh, it, it, it's all based on, on values, but you can also choose or make decisions based on your values, even though someone's decisions may not be the best. Okay, so let's say, um, as I said in school, let's say um, someone at school. Yeah, you, you could, you, you, you're doing it now. But you have to fight. Would that be your friend? So let's say someone at school steps on your shoes, right? Decision. Their decision was to step on your shoe. However, you don't have to make the decision to step on their shoe again or step on their shoe as to repeat them, right? So this is that's an, example, that's an example of how you make a good decision, of how you can make a good decision. All right, so... There are good decisions, bad decisions. However, we hope that all your decisions will be wise decisions. So write in your book, just two or three, right? And you can do that now. Once that's completed, you show me your book and we, um, your parent could sign up for it, all right? So we're moving on, let's go. All right, um, the next segment would have been for the builders, the Media Critic Awards. Let me just take the time to check in. Let me just take the time to check in with, um, with everyone and see how you're all going. Uh, let me start with, let me start with Isandro. Isandro, how are you going? Um, did you say something? I was in the arm thing. Repeat, you broke up a little bit there. What did you say, sir? I don't know, sorry. Um, I'm not hearing you too clear. Um, I did not hear what you were saying. Oh, I'm just... Uh, problem, yeah, no problem. I'm just checking with you just 
How are you going? Okay. Yeah. Are you going all right? Just check it. Yeah, I'm going all right. All right. Uh, I'm going on a second problem just now. Yeah, very good. All right. Um. So sunbeam. Well, I'll just say with sunbeam. So let me go back to BZB. BZB. Um, BZB. You're supposed to be working on. You're supposed to be filling in your feelings. How how uh, how is BZB going? BZB. How are y'all going? We're finished. Finished. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is this next section. Okay. So um, so as I said, that section would have been for um builders. So um, let me move on to let me move back to BZB. All right. So um, the Sana, yes, I see you. I'm seeing you holding up your book. Here. Let me see your book. A little closer. Okay, um, Sana, let me see your book again. Okay, right. Okay, so so you could color in the pictures, right? You could color in those pictures. So tell me, um, the, the first emotion, the first face, the first feeling there. Yeah? Yeah. So in your book, Hannah, yes, right, which, tell me, um, I'm not seeing too clear, so which one you matched it to? So the first face, that you matched the it to? I matched it to um, the sad one. The, yes, so which, which picture, which picture on the left? Um, the first one goes to... The first face, yeah, you matched it. Matched it. It's sad, right? And you matched it yeah. to which one? The last picture. The, the last picture. You matched it with the last picture. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, and that's sad. All right. Hold on. Um. Who else? Let me see. Let me see the box. Busy, be raise up your box. Excuse me, sir. You're supposed to do the button, which I would. Um. Yes. So. If I, and you, if, if I, so and so, and then you put I would so and so. So just like how we play the game. Right? Okay. Um, uh, Kaya, is Kaya? Yes. Not, not um, Kaya. <laughs> right. Um, uh, unmute, unmute your mic. I'm not in mic. Please yes, so, so the second the second picture there. The second picture. Um is what 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 um what you have there? By your second picture, what you have there? Second picture. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Please Hold please. on one second. Hold on one second. Proud. You have proud. The second picture you have proud? Right, and which face yes. you matched it to? I matched. Which face did match. you match it to? I matched it to the proud face. You matched it? She matched it to the one at the bottom. The, the yeah. bottom, okay, right, okay, yes. So yeah, proud or happy, right. Okay, I'm seeing it there actually. It's no Gina. I'm seeing it there, right. So, um... Someone else, hold up your book. Okay, hold up your book, let me see. Another busy bee. Another busy bee, any other busy bee completed? I love the one over there. 
Any other BZB? No? Okay, so you're going to, you have to work on that. Yes. Um, BZB, you work on it. Um, yes. Are you asking something? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if I could say the new memory was well, the, the first word, the first word was, um, did you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. And the second verse, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Did you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, who mm -hmm. you have from God, and you are not your own? All right, very so good. So, as a prize. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. All right. Okay, that's very good. So that's the Health Specialist Award, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's under, she's under yeah. um, Health Specialist, right? Okay, yes, very good. Very good, Sana. Um, Lila, you asking me something? Yes. Uh-huh. My brother wants to know when we are doing Ega Beaver. When he's going to? Ega Beaver. He he isn't doing his activities right now. No, he's in, my brother's in Ega Beaver, and now he wants to know if if he's doing any work in it. Yes, that's the first thing we did. <laughs> uh your parents supposed to be helping him right now. Yeah, but my mom is not really feeling good, and dad is in the, in his room. Okay, all right. Well, um, he'll have to do some during the week. But yes, there are activities. Gabiva for myself, they are supposed to... Right now he's supposed to be walking through the house. He's supposed to be walking through the house and he has his book. Yes. He's, he's supposed to be walking through the house and marking off things that he sees. Yes, marking off. He already off. did that. He already did that. Yes. Right. Okay, so yes. Yeah, so, he so saw he... like two dragonflies. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah. He saw a lot of butterflies. Right, so that's B. And I, he, saw B. A, a, he saw. He saw. He saw something red. He saw a leaf. He saw a flower. He saw something red. He saw a tree. He saw a pine cone. He saw. All something right. Blue. Okay, okay. That's but a, um. Blue and a bird. So, so he completed that. All right, that's that's okay. So um he uh did he do the activity on page eighteen that is the maze alphabet maze? That's fourteen eight. No, he's feeling what's on. Eighteen. You have to go back. Way back. So that's that's on the page right before. So he's supposed to complete the maze. Because of page forty to page three. Hmm, oh, page eighteen. Well, he did page twenty four. No, no, no. Look at page 18. We are not myself right now. Myself. The, the requirement that we are starting today is myself, right? So the first activity under myself is the maze. Did he do the maze? That's just now. The alphabet maze. So. I don't really know where that is. Okay, so he, he um he has to get a parent to help him out, right? So usually he got beaver, uh, okay. uh parent and little lamb and parent will help him out, right? So once he's well, what they said. No. Let me see. That is age. What is that? I think he's past it. Oh yes. So yeah, a parent will uh one um your mommy or your dad will have to help him out with that, right? Okay, so he can do he can do the the maze and stuff during the week. What did pages call again? One eight, page eighteen. So, one page eighty-eight? One eight. One eight. Page eighteen. Okay, um, right, so we have, that is completed.
Okay, so let, let's start with homework. Let's start distributing some homework. Homework, yay. Everyone loves homework. No. Busy B. Busy B. Let's start with Busy B. All right, so all the Busy B. Pay no attention. Let me see the hands of all the Busy B. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands, Busy B. All right, so I'm seeing one, two. Jennifer, you're not a Busy B. <laughs> all right. Um, right, okay. So, uh, Busy B, you all seeing my screen? No. All right, let me just. Sorry. I am meaning to share this. I did all my homework. Very good. Except for the exercising. <laughs> so we're going, to, we're going to get to that exercise in a little bit. Right, we'll, we'll do the exercise. We'll do the exercise as a group. All right, so. um. So, right, so, um, record the hours you sleep for next week. For next week, you need to a lot of time you spend using different types of media each day. Complete your fitness tip for next week. Um, you need to. Uh, sorry, this is, yeah, um, maybe ignore the second one. This is actually, um, this, the, the two weeks one is, that is actually for, uh, the builders, right? So forget that one. You're just looking at the first one for next class. You need to record the hours you sleep. So the hours, um, all you do, this is for. This is for your um I want to see health specialists. Let me just confirm. Yes, the health specialist award. So we're moving on to the health specialist award next week. Next week we are moving on. So um as this um all this is the second requirement under myself. For the BZB, I um so that is in that's page twenty three, health specialist page twenty three in your books, page twenty three. You are going to record the hours that you sleep. So for this week, starting from tonight, I want you to keep a just just in and on a little page, put the time you go to that you go to bed. And the time that you wake up. So tonight is Sunday night. So you're going Sunday night. Tomorrow, um, sorry, tonight is Saturday night. Tomorrow is Sunday night. So you're going sun, uh, tonight, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. When you go to sleep and when you wake up this entire week, record the hours you sleep. Next thing that you need to do is fitness. So all who will have done your fitness test. Who would have done the fitness test? That I believe you all would have been doing that this week. I uh, got some videos in the group. Um, let me just run through all that would have done it. I believe Cassia would have done it. I saw Sana do it. Right, so very good to everyone, to all of you who, who would have come. Uncle Jerome. Yes. Uncle yes. Jerome. Uh huh. Go ahead. If I can give an update on, on what's going on with the fitness crime so that the parents could understand. Yes, yes. You go ahead. All right. Good day, everyone. And I'm just saying that if you check the requirements on page 30, on page 24, you would see that what we did was show you the basic exercise. We started with 10 of one activity and some seconds and one, but it's really supposed to be, when we do it, 33 curl-ups curl in a minute. So if you're doing 10, it means that every day you add on five, five, until you get the child to about 35. So that when we actually do the test, they can do the required number. As well as if you check the visas, they have centimeters as well, and they have different times according to age. So what I did was just start you off basically slowly by showing you how to do it. 
and we start with a small number, you need to ramp it up and keep it going throughout the weeks. So that it's actually time to record and get the right number you can get it done. And I want to really do it. This will really have to be done outside of Sabbath hours. So this is for Sunday and upload on outside of the Sabbath hours. All right. Thank you, Uncle Jerome. Okay, thanks. Thanks, as well. Okay, so um so yeah, so so very good to those who would have completed, who who would have posted their videos in the group. All right, so um, you need to keep them coming. You need to keep them coming as part of the requirement for the health specialist. Requirement for the health specialist. This is the um, uh, requirement number nine. Participate in a recognized fitness test so it can be President's Challenge or an equivalent program. We are doing the President's channel, uh, Challenge. Uh, Uncle Casford would have posted the videos in the group. He just explained further. So those who haven't posted yet, haven't posted uh, the video of your child, parents, if you haven't posted the video of your child doing the activities just yet, uh, get on it, right? We want to wrap this up as soon as possible. So for the busy bee, the requirements, record the hours you sleep and continue with your fitness, with the fitness test as the, the, um, the president's challenge. Moving on. Um, all right, right. Um, sunbeam. Sunbeam. Let me see all the sunbeam. Where are the sunbeams? Sunbeam. Raise your hand if you are sunbeam. Okay. Right. So. The Sunbeam, remember that um, under the Fitness Fund, under the Fitness Fund Award, as part of the Fitness Fund Award, you have a lot of requirements to complete. The Sunbeam has the most requirements under this. And parents, please, there are a number of requirements to complete. This is uh, um, the stretches, right? So requirement number two, uh, do uh, completing the leg, back, and arms stretching. Then you have the run, jog, or walk one half mile, make a high jump, record the highest of four jumps, jump rope for three minutes, climb a pole rope or tree. Then um, participate in two of the following obstacle course leapfrog, uh, relay race. Right, so and then also you have the president's uh, challenge to complete. So, Sunbeam, you have a lot of fitness requirements under, under that. So, if your parents forget, you need to remind them, but parents, please don't forget. Right, so we want to, we want to wrap up this uh, award as soon as possible. And remember to post your videos in the group, just keep posting them, and we will um, treat with the requirements as. Uh Okay, yes. Jerome, the one with Sunbeam, huh? um, we will send something on the chat with the yeah. Fitness Award. Yeah. I will talk to Casper after, and we right. will put, put something on the chat. Right. So, yeah, so that's the, right, that's that's the Fitness good. Fund, right? Okay, so, Helping Hand is Andrew. Yes. Right, so you, your favorite things to do. You have things to memorize. I know you love memorizing. So for next week, Hi, for, for yeah. next week, um, you see in your text there, you are, uh, this is the Temperance Award. We'll be, getting, we'll be starting your Temperance Award next week. I'm going to hear it. Sorry, I'm going to hear it. What is this? Okay, you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, not Temperance. Um, Hygiene. Hygiene Award. So we'll be moving on to your hygiene award next week. That is page 27. And the first thing there, the first thing there will be a uh, tree text. This is Psalm 1911, Psalm 5110, and Psalm 1940. Are you talking about Psalm? Yeah. I'm talking about helping hand. I moved on to helping hand. All right, so we're on to helping hand right now. Sunbeam, you know what you need to do. Um, we'll talk to your parents in the chat. Don't worry. 
the exercise and thing with this. Not, not the exercise and thing. It's an award. Okay? The award. <laughs> you will get a patch. when you If you complete it, you'll get a patch on your sash. Yes. So it's not, it's not an exercise and thing. It's an award. Okay? Okay. All right. So you need to work on it. You need to work on it. Right. So, Isandro, you will be doing the, you'll be learning um, Psalms 1911. Psalm 51, 10, and Psalm uh, 19, 15. So they say in these first six, that is the um, first requirement in your hygiene award. Okay? Yes, Andrew. Yes, I'm just, though. You're seeing, what you, you're seeing the homework? Um, I'm trying to, to go in on it, but... No, no are, you okay. seeing, are you seeing the, 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 what you see in their homework helping hand? You seeing that? Yeah. And I went on. Huh? Right. No, I'm not yes. asking you to go into your book. I am asking you, are you seeing the screen that is saying, learn Psalms 119 and 11? Yes, I can. So you're seeing that, right? Yes, right? I can. Right, so that is what he wants you to learn, and that is in the Temperance Award? That's in um, Hygiene. Hygiene Award. Hygiene okay. Award for the Health and Hands. So, and um, that will be on page is that 27. That, yes, on 27, 27 right? right? Okay. All right, and 28, 27 and 28 is the hygiene hour. Yeah. Okay, that's what he's talking about. So as your third requirement, in the, uh, the third activity, any myself requirement, right? So remember, we have started myself today. You already down to the third one. You have to complete an award called the Hygiene Award. The first requirement under that, right? The first, the first requirement under that activity is to learn these three. So you'll be learning these three texts for next week. That's page 27. The other thing, um, you, if you look in your book, requirement number four, requirement number four, it is practice brushing of teeth. Right? Yeah. Practice proper brushing of teeth. Oh, so this week, you're going to be... You're going to be practicing some proper teeth brushing. Um, I don't have to read. Pretty sure you know how to brush your teeth. So it's pretty simple for you. All right. And you'll tell us about your experience next week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. So that is, uh, that's what you have to do. So next week we'll be getting into some, um, we'll be getting into the hygiene award with you um, to complete that part of your myself okay. requirement. Right. So. How are everybody going? Sunbeam, you finish your stuff. Uh, builders, you finish everything that you had to do. Sunbeam and builders, you all finish everything you had to do. Take your heads, wave your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, uh, remember to let your parents sign off your books. You have to sign off your books. Good. And for the date. Yes. Date and signature. Yes. Great. Yes. All right, excellent. Okay, so um, the last thing that we be doing on the pages that we did. The pages that we did. Okay. It must be done before they sign off on it. Right. Okay, so um, let me just recap what um what we have have been doing um for. BZB, right, so I ran through BZB already, that's the feelings, right, that was done, I think everybody okay with that, that's very good. Sunbeam, did you, all the Sunbeam, did you do your tracing, did you trace yourself, apart from the, apart from the, um, the decision making, all the Sunbeam, did you do your tracing, the tracing of your hand or your face to decorate, did you all do that? That was the first thing I told you all to do. Okay, so you see, now you have more homework. So trace yourself. Let me see. I'm seeing Shanice, right? Pull it a little closer. What did you trace? Well, come to a little closer to the camera. A little closer. Okay, so you trace your hand. Right, so um, remember you have to decorate it. It with uh, pictures and words, 
and then you have to write something about yourself. Right, so please complete this for next week's Sunbeam, all the Sunbeam. I think some one of my Sunbeam. All the Sunbeam here? I've seen Liam, I'm seeing Shanice. Malachi is also here. Okay, um, Malachi. Um, I'm not seeing Samuel. Is he here? Okay, I think he left. Okay, so, um, so yeah, Sunbeam, you need to, to trace, as I say, trace a part of you, right? So it's face or arm or foot, and then you decorate it. You write some stuff about yourself on it. So you need to complete that for me. That is, that is, that is part of the um, special requirement, right? So complete that as soon as possible, and then have your parents sign off on that. And the, okay, so the, the what if game. Sunbeam and what if game. So all the sunbeam, let me see your books with the what if game. That's page 21. Page 21, let me see your books. Did you do the what if game? Um, Shanice only has one. I said it. At least two or three. At least two or three. Um, Liam, how much did you do? Two or three what? You have to do two or three decisions. Three. Three did three? Yeah. Very good. So I'm not, I'm not seeing, but have your have your father signed off on it, right? Okay. All right. Um, Layla, what if requirement? What if? If now. <laughs> That's page 21. I did two. Two? Okay. On I would an if I. Right. Right. Okay. Good. All right. So, um, so yeah. So, finish up that. Finish up that. To ensure that you finish up that. And I'll need to see them. And then you'll have your parents sign off on it. Okay. Um, let me go back to here. All yeah, right, that's, that's, um, that's now before you go on, huh? Jennifer. Jennifer, I know we ain't talking much about yeah. your book, but what yeah. is going on with you? Yeah. You're supposed to be doing some stuff home. Tell me what's going on with you. What is going on with you, Jennifer? How far are you reaching the book, Jennifer? Did you do the one with the meals? Am I on? Is camera on? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. I'm not pray. Jennifer, we're waiting for Jennifer to tell us what's going on with her book. Mm. All right, why should she check through her book? Password, uh, Santa Mummy, um, Crystal, you there? Sana, your mommy there? Hello, yes, Sandy, I'm here. All right, Castle, when we finish, I'd like to talk to you. Yes, You're she here on, right? She um, she's yes, here. Mom. My mommy's here. All right, Sana, tell your mommy I'm when we finish, I want to talk to her. All right? Hey, yes, I'm here. All right, so when we finish, I want to talk yeah, to you. So stay on for me, please, okay? Okay, no problem. Yes, yeah, so I'm purple. Um, what yeah, do you Did she finish the one with the meals? Alright, then down. Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, yeah. yeah hello. Heather. Yeah. Still going through the little book. Still going through it, huh? Yeah, so okay, so where you reach exactly? Tell me where you reach. Because um we have to do the one with the with the compass and something else. So um I want to know how where she reached in her book. 
the stuff that you need to do home. So you, I'll call you or I'll pass by you and you'll see what's going on, okay? Can you hear me, Pluto? Jennifer? I'll pass by you, okay? And check the check your book. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, before you um, we pick, you, uh, you have anything else? Yeah, so um Isandro has to show us his talent now. Oh, okay, oh, oh, Isan. Okay, so Isandro, let, well, let's see your talent. And uh, after that, we'll be moving on and wrapping up. Where did Isandro go? Isandro. Isandro has his camera off, I think. Okay, so while we wait on Isandro, okay, so we we're going to play Guess Who. Remember last time we played Guess Who with the Bible, with Bible um, stories? Yeah. So I'm going to ask a question and you have to guess, you have to get what Bible story I'm talking about, right? I don't know how to play though because I left. Well, we're playing a new one. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So let, you, know, you need to listen you know carefully. All right? I, so um, if you know the answer, you just so, say. Are we on this end here? Yeah. I know the answer. All right. So listening, are you listening? We are. Okay. His best friend is Jonathan. I know. Who? Who is that? It is David. Yes, that's correct. It's David. All right. His rod turns into a slip. His rod turns into a serpent. Into a what? A, a, a serpent. Moses. Into a uh, Moses. Yes. Moses. It's Moses. Yes, Moses. it's Moses. All right. Moses. He steals his brother's blessing. He steals. Esau. 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 No, it's not Esau who steals his brother's blessing. Who is the yeah. next brother? Jacob. 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 Right. Jacob. His brother threw him into a pit. I know. Who is that? Joseph. Joseph. Yes, it was Joseph. His donkey. Talk to him. I know. That. Balaam. Yes. That is Balaam. Yes. All right. She marries Boaz. Who married Boaz? Ruth. Ruth. Yes, Ruth. Ruth. Who is Moses? Sister? Hello. We are not hearing anything at all. Okay. You're hearing me now? Miriam. You hear me now, Sister Quash, um, Antoinette? Miriam. Miriam. All right, just now, don't answer yet. Sammy, are you hearing me? Miriam. Miriam. Right. Miriam, Miriam. Is, yes, Miriam is Moses' sister. All right? Okay. She is the mother of Ishmael. Who is the mother of Ishmael? Ishmael. She's the mother. It's starting with H. Huh? She's the mother of Ishmael. Who's the mother of Ishmael? Oh, I don't know that one, though. Huh? Hello. Hagar. Hagar is the answer, right? Hagar. 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 Right. Hagar. Yes, Hagar. Okay. She is a queen who saved her people. Esther. I know. Esther. 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 Yes. She is a judge. She is a, a judge. Yes. It started with D. D. Deborah. Yes, Deborah. All right. Very good. That's very good. So you all know all the Bible stories. That is good. All right. Um, where's it, Sandro? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I I see his name. I see his name. I think his camera's off. 
Yeah, he cut it off. I wonder if he's here. Uh, yes, um, we are waiting on you, Isandro, to do your to do your talent. I we waited for you, Isandro, to show us your talent. You take off your camera so we can't see you. So can you do your talent for us, please? I play a piano in um in junior church. Um, do I have to play the piano now? Um, um you you have your you have your piano nearby, Isandro? Yes. Oh yeah, you can play something for us. Just uh, about a minute, you know, to take a second. You can play something for us, that's fine. But where's your camera? Um, can I play it next week so I have so I have time to practice it? But sir, uh, I told you to prepare talent during the class. <laughs> okay, right, fine. Yep. We'll give you one week. Okay? Okay, thank you. So you'll do your talent next week for us. Okay. Okay, all right. So we do, you'll do your talent and then you'll draw your picture and then your parent will sign off on it, all right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, I think that's it. I'll pass it back over. Okay, so we had a very nice time today. We learn a lot on decision making, right? And we, and we learn a lot about... Um, and feeling all right and although we have feelings we have different feelings and especially when we are sad mad angry and those kind of feelings we have to talk to jesus to help us through because sometimes we, some of us don't know how to handle those bad feelings and we also have good feelings and sometimes you know we still need to talk to god to say okay how to handle it because sometimes we could show up and it might offend others and our good feelings. Although you are feeling happy and sad, some people might be feeling sad and you know, and they might get the wrong, the wrong message. Right? Um, we also know about decision making, right? And when we do something, it's going to affect somebody. And when it affects somebody, we have to know how to deal with it and how to handle it. Some of us don't know how to handle some situation, and we need to ask the Lord to help us to handle these situations, okay? All right, so we are now going to close off. Good. Um, we're going to say our, we're going to stand attention, and we're going to do the closing exercise. So please, attention. One. All right. We're going to say our pledge. Present I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. All right. All right. Pray. All right. You will get to pray, Mali. But just now. Present them. Um. Present them. Um. Um. Okay. We're going to say the pledge. Now, Shanice, I'm seeing all the antics. We are at attention. We need to stand at attention when we are doing all three of the activities, which is the pledge, the law, and the song. I don't want to see no dancing and, and moving up and down when we are doing these things, okay? We are attention. Not because we are home, we are going to do it wrong. Okay? We are going to do it right. So when we go out again, we know how to do it properly. Okay? So we are at attention. Nathaniel, we are at attention and present arms. Let me see. All right. Good. Very well. Three, four. Because Jesus loves us all. All right. So now we're going to say the law. Three, four. Jesus. Be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be reverent. Okay, Malachi, we are at attention. We are at attention still. All right, our song, three, 
for we are adventurous. We are adventurous. We're learning every day to be honest, kind, and true. To be like Jesus, true and true. We are adventurous. One more time, we are adventurous. I all right okay that is so good to hear all right i am seeing all your pictures that you are uploading on the um your parents are uploading on the whatsapp i'm seeing you all doing the activity all right we have to do a Sunday. I would have to talk. We have to call a parents' meeting and we have to do a Sunday where we could do an outdoor. I don't know how we're going to do that, but an outdoor activity. Yeah. Right? You're not hearing me still? Right? So um, next week, you all have your homework to do. Next week, we will recap and also move on with myself. All right? So I'll say everybody say goodbye. Bye bye. Have fun and bye. 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 Bye.